you finally get a franchise QB that everybody feels really good about, and he loses his season to an ACL late in the year when everything is cooking, and the entire town convulses again. Uh Uh-oh, here we go again. And then that backup quarterback, supported by an amazing defense, a tremendous offensive line, a band of brothers mentality, an aggressive coach's play calling, goes on a remarkable run to not only win a Super Bowl in unbelievable dramatic fashion, in iconic fashion, but does so by defeating the favorite New England Patriots in that game in a thriller. Then all winter and all summer and all spring, you are reminded of what you have meant to the city. People are coming up to you and crying. And now you're supposed to focus get back on the football field and do it again on top of not having your starting quarterback in their all training camp, all preseason in the first couple of weeks of the regular season. It's understandable that that team would be emotionally exhausted in trying to get back up to that level again. Again, the good news is they don't have to be 12 and four to win this division. 10 and six will probably do it. And I don't think the Eagles, especially with the win tonight, are that far away from being a 10 and 16. The bad news is it's going to be hard to keep trying to build yourself back up on top of dealing with the injuries. Because the fact is they overcame a ton of injuries last year, and this year it's going to be way harder because they have the injuries, and it's early in the season, and emotionally – It's tough to come back from what you've experienced the last couple of months. 